Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture today, we are going to create an Android application, sample Android application, and we are going to connect that application to our Firebase project. So in that process, we are also going to learn how to create Firebase project and connect that to our Android applications. And we will see all the procedure that is required to connect the Android application to the Firebase project. So let's get started. So obviously we're going to start by creating a sample Android applications. So I'm going to start my Android Studio and after that we will, we are going to create a application. So create new project and I'm going to select empty activity here and I'm just going to give the name as sample app. Okay. So uh, I'm going to let everything else to be the same here as it is given by the Android Studio. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the Android 25 as the minimum SDK and Java as the language and I'm finally going to click on finish and it's going to build the application and once that is done we can start connecting this application to our Firebase project that we have not created yet so okay so our project is ready now let's go ahead and connect this project to new Firebase project okay so to do that android studio provide the tools that we need to connect this project to the firebase project so to use that tool we need to go to the tools here and here you can see the option called firebase now here you can see bunch of options that we can use to connect uh, that that we can use in our applications but one particular features that we are interested in is the authentication so so now you can use any of these features in, in your applications. We are interested in authentication. So we are going to click on this authentication here and click on email, email and password authentication. Then it's going to give you some steps that you can follow to add this particular uh, Android Studio project to Firebase project. Okay. So here you can see we have steps one, two, three, and four, but we are only interested in first and second. So first things we need to do is connect this project to Firebase. So click on connect to Firebase and then it's going to open the new browser here. And again, it is uh, opening my uh, another account, which I'm not going to connect. So let me select the another one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that here. Okay. So when you click on connect to Firebase, it's going to ask you to accept term and conditions of the Firebase. So click on that checkbox and click on continue. So I'm going to click on create new project. And then it's going to uh, give the application name automatically here. We don't need to type it here, but if you want to change it, you can do so. But I'm not going to change that. So click on continue. And here I'm going to click on continue again, accept the terms and conditions and click on create the project. Now it's going to take few seconds here. And once this uh, process is done, we'll be able to connect this project to Android Studio project. Okay. Okay. Now you can see the project is ready. Click on continue. And now it's going to create that project and it's going to ask us to connect that project to the Android Studio project that we have here in open in Android Studio. Okay. So let's wait for that for a second and now click on connect and it's automatically, it will automatically connect our project to the Android Studio project. And how do you know that if the project is connected or not, we can simply go back to the Android Studio. And here you can see the message that says your app is connected to the Firebase project called sample app. Okay. So guys, this is how we connect the uh, Android Studio project to the Firebase project. Now, one more thing we need to do is add the dependencies in our application. So whichever features that you want to use in your applications, you need to add the dependencies in our applications. We can manually do that, but Firebase also provide options to add dependencies. So here, since we are interested to use email and password authentication, we're going to add this particular uh, dependency. So click on add Firebase authentication to your application and it's going to uh, give you the snippet of what are the dependencies that are going to be added in our project. So these are the dependencies that is going to be added in our project level Gradle file as well as in app level Gradle file. So click on accept changes. And after that, it's going to download the required dependencies and add that to our particular project. 
once that is done we are ready to use firebase authentication features in our particular android applications and we'll be doing that in coming sections okay yeah now we are ready to go and just to make sure that we have added the dependencies i'm gonna go to this gradle script here and go to the module of our gradle file and here you will be able to see the firebase auth dependencies here okay so this this is the exact dependencies that we need for this project to work with firebase mail authentication okay guys so this is it for this video in the next coming videos we'll be implementing everything else i'll see you in the next lecture